Hello summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to discuss top 20 underrated characters in Marvel Contest of Champions. So I'm not going to uh, like uh, talk about all their abilities or anything but otherwise the video would be way too long. So we're just going to talk about the main features uh, and um, then move on. So uh, number one on the list is Emma Frost. Now Emma Frost has a lot of immunities like she's immune to bleed, poison, Im uh, like incinerate I think, uh, exhaustion. Uh, almost every debuff in the game she's immune to in her diamond form she gets uh, like uh, prowess on the parry uh, which is useful in some uh, parts in act 6 i believe uh, like uh, you need prowess otherwise you don't do any damage or something so she's great for that uh, she also has a decent amount of damage evade counter power control as well uh, so she has a lot going on for her a lot of damage output as well great synergies and uh, then we move on to our number two uh, which is mysterio so mysterio uh, like he is one of uh, i think the most underrated characters in the game uh, his sp1 can reverse uh, the damage that he takes uh, that's not that useful but uh, uh, his sp2 has power control he has passive heal block which is huge uh, he has um, like really good damage output uh, with his sp3 after his sp3 and uh, uh, he has like one of the hardest uh, damage uh, poison damage in the game like him and voodoo are the probably the only two characters who can put out that kind of damage uh, poison wise so he's great for a lot of stuff in the game uh, then we have taskmaster at number three uh, taskmaster kind of weird character but uh, like if you learn to play him if you uh, have him awakened then he has a lot of damage output a lot of utility like ability reduction uh, ability accuracy reduction and you know concussions and stuff and a lot of damage output at the same time uh, so he's really good like i know a person who has awakened his six star uh, taskmaster with a generic awakening gem and then rank three him so people some people really really like him so uh, after that we have venom uh, so Venom, uh, I guess he is not too underrated. That's why he's not uh, like on the top three, because uh, a lot of people already know how good he actually is. Uh, but he has a lot of damage output. Uh, he has a lot of buffs, so he's really good for incursions. Uh, he also ha is a Excel champion, so he's really good for variant two as well. Uh, then we move on to uh, old man Logan after his buff like he and Colossus were buffed together uh, and Colossus kind of stole the spotlight uh, and old man Logan is really good not as good as Colossus but uh, with all the furies and stuff he's really good he can do critical bleeds the regeneration is always helpful I think he's better than X-23 and you know the best 5 star uh, Wolverine out there so uh, like I rank five him once, uh, like I rank five all the uh, beyond god tier kind of characters. Uh, then we have Mephisto, who is uh, like my personal favorite. Uh, if like you go two years back in my channel, uh, then you'll see that uh, I uh, like was a huge Mephisto fan. Uh, I rank five him. He was my first rank five five star character ever. He was my first, uh, like he was the first character I went for as a featured crystal, like uh, back in the day when you have 20-25% chance to get that character and I got him first crystal. So uh, he has a lot of utility, poison immunity, incinerate immunity, power control on the SP3, uh, faith steel on the SP1, uh, like uh, no faith steel, uh, uh, soul imprisonment on the SP1 and in the starting of the fight as well. Uh, and you know with the champion synergy uh, and some other also synergies he is crazy damage like I did a video where he was doing more than 10,000 aura damage just the aura and uh, like every single second so he is really powerful character and extremely underrated in my opinion then we move on to Mr. Fantastic uh, he I think is kind of uh, like the other science characters captain america void uh, they are so good at putting debuffs uh, reversing healing doing that kind of stuff then you have all the fantastic four other fantastic four characters like thing and human torch like uh, so that is i think the main reason people don't use him uh, more but he really is a really good character uh, with a lot of debuffs uh, and with this pair mastery you can do a lot of stuff he is a potential counter to the 6.2 champion boss uh, 
he has a lot of stuff he's a decent defender with he has evade and uh, you know he has weakness on the specials and stuff so he's a, a pretty good character like i wouldn't mind him uh, mind getting him at all uh, really good synergies as well then we move on to hood hood is a character that you uh, that has one of the strongest synergy in the game but not for him like he uh, the synergy ghost has with hood is really good like it's the best synergy in the game in my opinion and uh, but even other than that like if you have hood at 565 the kind of damage you can get out of him is really good and uh, you also have uh, like sp2 has uh, the, like if the opponent have buff uh, then you can just use your sp2 you have stagger uh, after sp2 uh, like you have the safety net of uh, the opponent like the opponent could potentially miss and i think you're stun immune after like uh, you are done with the invisibility so that has some uses in stuff like uh, you know um, the thing where the node i'm not able to remember the name but the node where you get stunned after a uh, certain time unless you're using special attacks so him and Nick Fury uh, would be really good for that and then we have Wasp who is another character who has really good synergy with the uh, coast and uh, Wasp uh, I think uh, before Doom was the best counter to life cycle nodes uh, that is the node where you have to knock down the opponent but even after Doom like uh, I think she is number two because you can just so easily get uh, to, the, uh, to the heavy attacks and those are guaranteed crits and she hits really hard like when she was released she used to have one of the highest attack rating in the game and uh, she is still like super hard hitting i have some gameplay of six star rank three wasp in the channel with sp2 she can also reverse healing uh, so yeah really good character doesn't even need to be awakened then we have elsa bloodstone i think like aegon nick fury uh, and blade and characters like that are the reason why people don't use elsa as much but she is a really good character like in, on, in her on her crits she does a lot of energy damage uh, she's good for i think stun immune fights so you can just evade out of it she is great on defense with suicide masteries like if the opponent doesn't bring a mutant champion then the degen they will take will be like a lot of damage uh, also like she has a lot of utility i don't have her personally so I don't uh, know that much about her but uh, she can also uh, uh, she can also like lose the debuffs on her uh, which are dealing no damage and stuff then we have vision arcus uh, vision arcus i think is uh, not as popular just because people have already ranked up medusa and they don't need another uh, robot counter kind of thing but the power gain that vision arcus can get in longer fights uh and the fact that he has a lot of armor breaks uh, he has a lot of, uh, he can armor shatter the opponent uh, and with the special attacks the damage output that you can get out of him is pretty good like uh, i'd say if you have him then he is worthy of like rank taking to rank 5 and stuff so really underrated in my opinion he's also really good for defense as well then we have doc Ock, really good power control a heal block uh used to have really good prestige when he was released uh, but still really solid champion i wouldn't mind pulling him as a six star then killmonger another character who was like really hyped up when he was released because of the medusa bosses and stuff uh, but after that like right now people barely use him uh, he, the true strike that killmonger has is really good and if you stack up to 50 bleeds and uh, use the sp3 then the damage you get is also really good the night thrasher he's in incinerate immune a lot of people really like him i've seen uh, people take down labyrinth of legends uh, like red hulk with him uh, i see the kind of utility that, and that he has and i like uh, he is kind of underrated again i'm not a person who has him i'm not a person who uses him but i've seen like enough gameplay to say that he is really good uh, character who doesn't uh, get the love that he uh, re uh, that he deserves then we have ronin uh, i really like ronin's animations and stuff a lot of bleed damage uh, decent amount of damage output can shrug off suicide masteries as well uh, then moving on to spider gwen i don't want this video to be 10 minutes over 10 minutes so i'm going to wrap it up quickly spider gwen really great character i think uh, she hulk kind of stole the spotlight from her uh, great evade and stuff lots of damage output especially after this three wait for collector as well and then uh, we have massacre a lot of people only use massacre for the domino synergy 
but even otherwise the damage output that you can get out of him now can like you do have to play really really aggressively to uh, get the bat on flame and stuff and get the real incinerate damage in uh, but he is a really good character and I do think like uh, when I have like extra T5 basic and stuff I would really love to rank 5 this character and you know take him to stuff like uh, with bigger health pools uh, like Labyrinth of Legends then we have Venom the Duck uh, Venom the Duck uh, like I just saw Brian's Labyrinth run with him he uh, after you build him up uh, like he's really sustainable he has a you can build him up to your needs you can have a lot of perfect block chances you can have a lot of regeneration you can have a lot of uh, crits uh, furies so uh, really good character in my opinion not very suicide friendly so i do have him at rank 3 i might rank 5 him but uh, as of now he's at rank 3 then moving on uh, with dark hawk uh, He's a character who needs to be awakened but if you have him awakened and ideally at high signature level then he's just amazing uh, damage wise as well but uh, like uh, he is uh, of course double immune character and with the uh, like I think guillotine 2099 synergy the power gain that he gets uh, you want to use your sp3 get the mega damage and you do a lot of damage with him uh, he has like uh, immunities and stuff as well so really good character in my opinion uh, and then we have red hulk to finish it off now red hulk is uh, like at number 20 only because a lot of people already use him in even in high tier alliance war like uh, i saw uh, a person use a rank 2 6 star red hulk uh, against man thing bosses in tier 1 alliance war like he's a very common defender so I bet people would take uh, their 6 star uh, red hulks to rank 3 to just fight man things and stuff. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe to the channel and stay safe.